This will be the ninth meeting on the hardwoods between these two institutions with uh, Georgia College holding a 5-3 to three advantage. Young Harris won three of the first four games in the series before the Bobcats have won the last four encounters, including both their games in 2016. The Mountain Lions and Georgia College have split the four meetings in the Young Harris College basketball arena. And in the latest NCAA statistics, Jenny Vernett is seventh in Division II in offensive rebounds per game. And the Mountain Lions continue their homestand Saturday with this 1:30 game uh, Peach Belt contest coming up next Saturday against Clayton State University. Well, Purple Rain, our college band here, is entertaining with a little bit of let's get them and go and have some fun here today at Young Harris College, the basketball arena. Chris, how you been? I'm doing great. How about you, Dennis? Well, I'm excited about being back here at good old YHC today, and uh, somehow we're going to get you in this college up here eventually. Uh, we'll see how it goes. That'd be awesome. Um, you know, it's been a little break since we had the last game, and once you come back, it's just an awesome feeling to get to do it again. So I'm definitely having a lot of fun and look forward to getting two victories tonight. Sure would be good for the women and the men to come up with uh, some big wins here for Young Harris College, of course, on uh, WCNG's coverage of the Young Harris men and women. Of course, we're playing uh, Georgia College tonight. Uh, they're um, a good team uh, right here at Young Harris for this uh, 5.30 start time, and we'll be telling you more about them as we go along. They do have uh, radio here with us as well, so a couple of guys down there broadcasting back for Georgia College. They're the Bobcats, of course, we are the Mountain Lions, and maybe a pretty good scramble here, Chris, between the Bobcats and the Lions, I think. Yeah, that'd be, a, that'd be a, you know, animal against animal, the same style of species, basically, and we're looking at two teams that are in the Peach Belt Conference. Young Harris, we're three and five in the conference, and Georgia College is four and four, but overall, Georgia College is 10 and five, winning 66% of their games, and Young Harris is 7-8, and eight, winning 46% of their games. So it'd be a good uh, morale builder here if we could get a W, not only at home, but against a pretty solid Peach Belt Conference Georgia College team. We're also on uh, the TV tonight with uh, John Moon here, Windstream TV, who's uh, videoing the game and will play it back on Channel 99. So he'll have our audio, and if you got Windstream Cable, you can watch this game a little later on John's Channel 99 on Windstream Cable. You, you really didn't know you were going to be on TV, did you? No, not tonight for sure. I didn't think I didn't think we were going to have a shot at doing it, but, you know, it's awesome. And especially if you get to watch back and see what you need to improve on and what you messed up on. So it's a good, good way to show it over the game, play-by-play, play, which is even more fun if you're checking out Ridgeline, Ridgeline TV and trying to watch the game if you were unable to make it tonight. Right. It's so much fun there, and thanks to John for all he does. We've been teamed up with him for a while. Uh, over at Union County with our Panther football coverage and so forth. Just about set here for the start of this, and we're going to take a two-minute timeout, and then we'll be right back on WCNG's coverage of Young Harris College women's mountain lion basketball on WCNG-FM. We're back here in Young Harris for the starters of the Bobcats. Number three, Larice Walker. Here's the next one, number 43, Veronica Ryan. She's from Clearwater, Florida, 5'7", senior. That's in my neck of the woods. Right. Number 12, Taisha Wright. Forward, 6'2", sophomore, number 15, Anna Anderson. Number 32, Sydney Cleveland. Sydney is uh, from Gainesville, just over the mountain, playing for Georgia College, I notice here. They're the Bobcats. We're the Mountain Lion women tonight. And here come the Mountain Lions out for their introduction for the ladies. The Mountain Lions of Young Harris College. Here's one of the guards. Stockholm, Sweden, Sarah Jorgensen. Number three, she's a 5'4 sophomore guard, and we'll have her two more years. From Stone Mountain, Georgia, here is Brianna Bell. She's a junior, 5'8 junior. 
And our big center is about to come out of the lane for her accolades, number 42, Jenny Burnett, 6'3", senior, West Palm Beach. That's a good thing to have her as tall as she is playing center. And out of Johns Creek, Georgia, Meredith Tarver. She is a great player, 5'11", senior from Johns Creek, Georgia. And from Snellville, Georgia, here's Jada Williams. She's a guard forward, 5'11", junior from Snellville. We'll have her here in another year. Matt Steersman. Peyton Robertson is the assistant there. And this is going to get underway pretty quickly. Yeah, with the uh, absence of Bria Ratliff, it looks as if Brianna Bell will be starting, number 12 for the Mountain Lions. All right, jumping in to go against her. More out of Sharpsburg, Georgia. And we're just about ready for court. We're on uh, Windstream TV tonight to Channel 99. That goes up, controlled by Young Harris. Off it goes this way to Sarah Jorgensen. Down the right side, she looks, waits. Good coverage on her, got it down the lane. Turn, shoot it off the glass too strong. And over the top, it's a jump ball. So it's going back the other way, reaching over there. Working hard for us was Jada Williams, but just could not hold on to it. Yeah, Tasia Wright put up a fight for that ball, and here's the inbound for the Bobcats. Coming across point guard, number three, Larise Walker, dishes it over back to Tasia Wright. Over the top of the arc, number 43, Ryan, down low to right, right, trying to drive it in, lays it up off the backboard for two. First two points of the game go to Taisha Wright. Quickly, Young Harris comes right to left. Jorgensen, the 5'4 sophomore, swings it out front to Brianna Bell, shoots it at the charity stripe, in and out, no good. They get the rebound underneath. Rebounded by Wright. Here comes a fast break opportunity. Number 32, Sydney Cleveland misses the, misses the shot. Rebounded by the Mountain Lions. Jenny Burnett up with it off this way. Left side to Jorgensen. She switches back. Now comes this way. Around it goes to 23, Tarver. Over on the wing, Brianna Bell. Back this way to Jorgensen. Jorgensen takes it, feeds it to Bell. Looks at a long one. Pulls off of it. Shot clock down to 12. Back this way to Bell, deep left corner, feed it to the low post right side, outside Jorgensen for three, yeah, oh gosh, in and out, no good, tipped around, who can control it? They call it a jump ball. And they're gonna give it to them on the back baseline. Right here, no, well, two to nothing, they lead us two to nothing, Chris. Yeah, here comes the inbound from right. She looks like she's one of the most explosive players on their team, and inbound bounce pass to Walker. The point guard coming across the Mountain Lions logo at midcourt. Dishing over to Anderson, back to right. Over to Walker. Walker looking for a passing lane. Finds one. Wide open three. Ryan drives it in and decides to dish it to the to the wing. And that's going to be Walker dishing back out. They're going to call a foul here on this yeah, one. Charge on number three there, Larice Walker from Franklin, Georgia. So we'll get it on the left baseline throw in on the back side. Tarver bounces it down here to uh, Jorgensen. And Sarah will bring it across the timeline. Go to the right side again. Over there, Brianna Bell. Down beneath me is uh, Jada Williams. Turn around, fed it to the low post again. Underneath a scramble, we turn it over. We lost it. Jenny Burnett just could not hang on to it. Yeah, right ends up with it. And top of the arc is Ryan. Ryan finds Anna Anderson missing the mid-range jumper, rebounded by Jenny Burnett. Burnett, the 6'3 senior for Young Harris, feed it this way, Williams. Williams, left side of the arc, takes it back. Three-point try. Yes, for number 23, Tarver for three to give us a one-point advantage here. Inbound pass to to Larice Walker, trying to slow down the pace for the Bobcats as they trail three to two early in the first half. Excuse me, the first quarter. We play four quarters in the women's games. Over to the left side, that's 32. Cleveland for three, missing, rebounded by Burnett. Burnett got it quickly to Jorgensen. She'll come into the middle of the playing area over the Mountain Lion symbol. Jorgensen waiting, little cover up, had to come back this way to Tarver. Tarver switches it around to Bell, top of the circle. Here's Jada Williams at the charity stripe, no good. Rebounded by Sydney Cleveland. They have a fast break opportunity here. The point guard, number three, Walker, steps back, takes a shot, rebounded by Tarver. The ball pops out, and I think it's going to go out of bounds. It should be Mount Mine's ball, and it, it will be. Right in front of Coach Steersman over there with <laughs> Young Harris, still with a one point advantage, three to two. Everybody clears to our left down here in the front court now as Young Harris 
will have it uh, to Tarver. 5'11", senior from Johns Creek, Georgia. We'll get it in to uh, Sarah Jorgensen. She's a sophomore, and I tell you, she plays great out here as a point guard. She played last year as a freshman. Uh, small in stature, but big heart there. Here's Tarver after the handoff. Of put a, up, up, oh boy, we lost it on the baseline. Put up a shot high. We fell on it, did uh, 43 there, uh, 42 Jenny Burnett, but it just goes awry. Bounds and bound to Walker. 6.55 here in the first quarter. Three to two Mountain Lions lead. Walker dishing over top of the arc, number 12. That's right. Right over to Ryan. Ryan working against Brianna Bell. Ryan tries to drive it, draw the foul, and she doesn't get the call. And the Mountain Lions are able to keep the ball in bounds. Finally bounces back around to Jorgensen here for the rerun down court, moving right to left for the Mountain Lion women. Over to the right wing, it goes out to Brianna Bell. This one's good as she got it to Tarver on a runner from the right side for an easy two. Here comes Larice Walker working against Jorgensen. Pass down low in the paint to Anna Anderson. She misses a shot, ball goes out of bounds. Mountain Lions gain possession. Boy, they got it back, I would have called that one wrong, but here's going to be Tarver on a right back baseline throw in, bounce it down to Sarah. Sarah Jorgensen out of Stockholm, Sweden, resi Sweden, residing right here in Young Harris, off to Tarver again, and there's going to be a penalty against the Mountain Lions. Got a blocking foul. Bell's drawn her first foul and two now on the Mountain Lion women. Here comes the inbound pass from Anna Anderson to Larice Walker, wearing number three, the point guard, working against the Mountain Lions point guard, Jorgensen, who also wears number three. Cleveland, pass down low. Anna tries to put it up. In and out, rebounded by Meredith Tarver. Well, she is right in front of it, just could not finish it. Here's Jorgensen with a long feed down to the left wing on the other end, taking it in the paint, back outside. 20 on the shot clock, little jumper, 16-footer, and the block, so we got two shots on the shooting foul yeah. for Young Harris's Meredith Tarver. Fouls on Larice Walker, the point guard. That's their first personal of the game. And it's going to be Young Harris shooting for two. Act, she was in the act of shooting inside the arc, about 17-foot shot. And they clipped her on the arm, so she's going to get two here with a three-point advantage. Up and in. Substitution made for the Bobcats. Number four, Christina Thomas checks in, and point guard Larice Walker checks out. Meredith, one of our seniors here. Sure going to hate to lose her. That one's in and out, no good. Knocked around. Young Harris may lose it. They did. We knocked it this way, one of our... Mountain line women did. The Georgia College will get the inbound from directly in front of us. It's going to be Taisha Wright inbounding the pass, and the Mountain Lions are playing a full court press right now. Inbound pass, dishing over to the left side, Ryan lobs it back up to Christina Thomas, stepping out of the zone defense. Ryan on the left wing, over to right, right, getting guarded pretty closely right now, wide open. And that's Thomas trying to put it down low into the paint to Cleveland. Right back to Thomas. Over to Ryan for a three-point opportunity. Pump fakes it down to seven seconds on the shot clock. Down to five. Laying it up. The newly in input ball game shooter. And they miss the shot. Rebounded by the Mountain Lions. Sarah Reed came down with it. A great job defensively that time. That 2-3 zone it looked as good as I've seen it all year for the Mountain Lion women. Back out here to Jorgensen, top of the key on the other end. She'll drive it to the left corner. Jada Williams, 17-footer, strips the basket for two. And the Mountain Lions are on a 8-0 run in the last four minutes of this one. So great job so far defensively by the Mountain Lions, able to contain this offense. Six-point advantage, Mountain Lions. Ryan passes down low to right. Right misses the shot, and they're going to call it on Sarah Reed. Two shots here. For number 12, right. So they went with Williams on the penalty, her second personal there. Let's take a break. 4.32 left, first quarter. Mountain Lions, eight. Our visitors, Georgia College Bobcats, two. We'll be right back on WCNG-FM.
Back here in Young Harris, we lead eight to two over Georgia College at the free throw line for the first time, number 12. Taisha Wright, she makes her first of two, an eight to three ball game. Here comes her second opportunity. And the Bobcats are gonna wait for the player to come in until the second shot is done. Here comes their second, puts it up, and falls perfectly, eight to four here, Mountain Lions lead. The Griff comes into the ball game for our visitors. Here's Jorgensen from the back baseline, running right to left to the right corner. Gives it off over that way to uh, our number 15, Brown. Jorgensen in the deep right corner, tried to take it up, outside three-point try. Oh boy, I like that. Number 12, Brianna Bell, the 5'8 junior from Stone Mountain, nails a three and gives us an eight to four lead again. Yeah, the uh, number 43, Veronica Ryan, looks like she got a little shaken up on the play and she fell down and missed her defen defen uh, offender that she had to cover and they put up a three and the Mountain Lions have a seven point lead here. All right, McQuaid is coming in the ball game and uh, somebody else for Young Harris. Now coming this way will be number 12, back to the live action. All right, couple changes made here. Ryan, top of the arc, working against Megan McQuaid over to the left side, that's McGriff. McGriff, pass is broken up by Jenny Vernet, and I believe it goes out of bounds. Yeah, we're gonna get that one back right over there on the right baseline throw in in front of uh, Coach Stearman and the rest of the Mountain Lion women. One bounce brings it in to Brianna Bell down the right sideline. Tarver threw it into her. Tarver will get it back top of the key. Wait, go to Bell, left wing down here to McQuaid who's in the ball game. Little runner there over the top, they block it, we get it, throw it back out top of the key. 14 on the shot clock, drive the baseline, kick it this way, McQuaid for three. Banked it high off the glass and fell in for Hazel's Megan McQuaid for three. Beautiful shot, she gets it to fall perfectly off the square on the backboard and Mountain Lions have a double digit lead, 14 to four. Here comes 25, Lindsey Reed, left side, over to McGriff, McGriff driving into the lane on Brianna Bell and they're gonna call a foul there against the Mountain Lions. Maybe on uh, 15, I think, uh, Brown. That's this, her first person. Her first so here comes Aliyah McGriff to the line to shoot two. Her first opportunity, puts it up and gets it to fall in. Nine point lead, 14 to five. And only three minutes and 18 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Her second shot in. Got him, Sewanee, Georgia is where she's from. Back baseline throw in for the Mountain Lions. Comes over here to our number 12, Brianna Bell. Bell feeds it to Tarver, now to the right wing, way out top of the circle, it was McQuaid. Back out top of the key, now left wing Tarver from 22 feet. Side of the rim, wouldn't go. We couldn't save it, so we'll lose it on the left baseline throw in for them working left to right. Eliam McGriff will inbound pass here to number four, Christina Thomas. So Ryan checks out and number 23, Brianna Davis checks in for the Bobcats. 301 left in this first uh, period here at Young Harris College tonight. Come on up, watch the men. They play next on WCNG. McGriff, top of the arc, dishing over to Slaughter. Slaughter right back to the newly checked in player, Brianna Davis. Pass is almost stolen by Meredith Tarver, but Bobcats end up with it. They put up a three block by Tarver. Brought down by Sarah Reed. Reed off this way to Jorgensen. Jorgensen around the wing gives it to Megan McQuaid. She'll shift it back to Tarver. Tarver drives it in the paint. Fouled all the way down and she'll get two shot shooting foul there as they hit her on the arm going down the middle of the lane. So the Mountain Lions will step to the line. Tarver, she's our senior, 5'11 guard out of Johns Creek, Georgia. Up, back of the rim high, fell out, no good. And a quick substitution here. Anna Anderson is coming in for Georgia College and taking a seat, Jalen Slaughter from Kathleen, Georgia. I don't know where Kathleen is. But it's probably a great place. <laughs> Second shot is up. It's good for Meredith. So she's one of two right there for the Mountain Lions. And we got a big nine-point advantage. I, I imagine Kathleen, Georgia sounds 
like a small, pretty little town. That's what I imagine. That's what I think. Here comes the Bobcats, left side. McCoy playing great defense, and they call it traveling. Steersman thought that they almost called a reach-in foul, and he got a little aggravated. He realized that the official called a traveling foul. Yeah, he's right on it there, and uh, they were standing nearly side by side, Coach Steersman and the official. Bounce pass brings it in to Jorgensen from the far side in front of the young Harris bench. Sarah looks top of the key, throws it over to Quaid on the wing. She'll back it out this way, deep corner. Tarver drives down to the low post, kicked it in front. Now back top of the key, driving her way down. Outside, we throw it away, and it's no good. Had it going pretty good there, but uh, it was Sarah who looked, and her player, she threw it to it, moved up the court, and she threw it right where the player was, but she has already gone down the court, so that's the difference. Yeah, that was a quick turnover there, but the Mountain Lions need a good defensive stop here. Left side, the newly checked in player, number 24 has the ball, that's Tarver. Missing the mid-range jumper, rebounded by number 15, Anna Anderson. And it'll reign in possession of the Bobcats. They trail by nine with a minute 45 to go. Shea Tarver, number 24 for the Bobcats, not Meredith for the Mountain Lions. Inbound pass off the back of Meredith Tarver and able to remain in possession is Georgia College. Down to a minute 37 on the game clock. Five seconds on the shot clock, putting up a three, missing. Rebounded by the Bobcats, put up a mid-range, excuse me, a layup, missing that one as well, blocked by Jenny Burnett. Burnett got a big hand in it. Here comes uh, our point guard, Jorgensen, across the lion at midcourt, the purple and gray mountain lion symbol. Jorgensen to give it to Tarver, Tarver around the wing. Now they'll feed it into the paint, little trouble there. We'll take it out top of the key. Now we'll try one from the left corner. Looked pretty good, but no good. Brianna Bell had hit the rim and fell away. Rebounded by Thomas. Here comes a fast break, and it's off the rim for two points. Aliyah McGriff puts it up, her first points of the ball game. All right, under a minute. First quarter, 15-8. Mountain Lion women on top. Jorgensen out here top of the key. We've got our cheerleading men and women down here, too, making a lot of noise right under the young Harris basket. Tarver tried to feed it over there to Jorgensen, and we lost it. A push. We're going the other way. That's going to be on Sarah Jorgensen. They were a scramble for it here in this deep left corner, and it just couldn't be helped what happened. Everybody's up and okay. But that one will be on Sarah. 5-4 sophomore from Stockholm, Sweden. It's her first foul. You don't see many fouls on her, but that one, she was really going after the ball. Yeah, she was trying to get the ball. They were trying to get some more points here before the end of the first quarter. And that's going to send Eliam McGriff back to the line. She's two for two. Here goes her first of this opportunity, knocks it down. She's going to get a second shot right here. Right, Checking out right. Meredith Tarver for the Mountain Lions. And here comes the second free throw for McGriff. Puts it up. Off the rim, in and out, rebounded by Jenny Burnett and the Mountain Lions. And here comes Jorgensen, down the right sideline again. Over to the wing it goes to Britt Bell. Back here, McQuaid. McQuaid looking, takes it to Jorgensen, top of the key, back to Megan. Now to the left side, way back across. We've got it, drive it in the paint, tried to put it up, and the jump ball is going to give it back to jump ball us. Yeah, at first, the official signaled that it was going to be uh, Bobcat's ball, but they do give it back to the Mountain Lions here. Left baseline throw in underneath their own basket. Sarah Jorgensen is there. Everybody else man-for-man -man defense for the moment. McQuaid got it in the corner, backs up, shoots a three. Long one, air ball, did not go. Rebounded by 23, excuse me, uh, Brianna Davis. Down to 10 seconds left in this first period. She's stepping out, trying to maybe hit the buzzer. Driving in, steps back, Vernette puts her hands up, rebounded by Megan McQuaid, and that'll do it for the first. The Mountain Lions lead 15 to nine over the Bobcats. Six point advantage there. We got the men's game following this one. This only our first quarter of basketball. We'll be back with Dennis Jean. I'm and Chris Mathis. Are you really? Yes, sir. All right, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well. We'll be right back. These sponsors make it possible for us to have fun here at Young Harris College.
Here comes the Bobcats here, just starting off the second quarter. We lead by six. Over to the right side, Tarver. Back to the left, that's uh, Christina Thomas. Right back against Tarver, over to Tarver, number 24, stepping back for McQuaid. Quick pass almost taken by Meredith Tarver, but they put up a two and they get it to fall. 23, Brianna Davis gets it to fall. Here come the Mountain Lion women. Jorgensen clears midcourt. Over on the wing, it comes out to Brianna Bell. Tarver, 19 and a half foot shot. We made it top of the key, almost a three. But we'll only put two more on the board and give Young Harris a four point advantage. Inbound pass here goes to the point guard, number four, Thomas. Playing against Jorgensen, Thomas. Dishing over to the right side, 23, Davis has it. Right back to Thomas, who gives it to Tarver. Tarver gives it to the left side. That's right, being guarded by Meredith Tarver. Right blocked by Meredith Tarver, and the Mountain Lions end up with this one. Over the top, Meredith just reached over and blocked it. Jorgensen feeds it on the right side all the way down to Bell. Bell drives it underneath. Lost it for a moment. Throw it back out high to Tarver. Back this way, McQuaid, she'll take it. Here's Tarver driving down the lane all the way. A little run shot, couldn't get it. Tipped away, we get it back. Jorgensen, top of the key for three. We need it, didn't get it. Young Harris will try to stop it. And of course, uh, right there, Coach Sears, Steersman is saying he sort of held to that. Young lady did wrap her arm in around uh, Jorgensen there and caused a little problem. So it will be an inbound pass in front of, in front of their own bench for the Bobcats and 24, Davis has it. Across midcourt, Jorgensen there to play defense against her. Dishes over to right, back to 15. That's Anna Anderson who gives it right back. 32, top of the arc, driving in on Brianna Bell. Back outside, stepping back, almost took a three point shot, didn't take it, right down low on the left side baseline. Puts it up, missing, rebounded by Tarver. Meredith Tarver gives it quickly to the point guard. This is Sarah Jorgensen down here to McQuaid, right beneath me. Tarver, top of the key, drives it all the way down. Outside, 19 and a half foot shot by Jorgensen, no good. McQuaid got the rebound. She'll take it back here to midcourt and give it off to Brianna Bell, the 5'8 junior from Stone Mountain. Here's Jorgensen driving down the lane. McQuaid down in the left corner. Back over it goes Brianna Bell, down on the low post. Turn around, fade away, wouldn't go. We'll get it back. McQuaid says, I'll get it. She backs it out here to the left wing. Now all the way back over to Jorgensen. Deep corner for Tarver. Hit the side of the rim. Follow through is good there for number 42, Jenny Burnett, and she is fouled so she can turn this into a three-point play. Yeah, Jenny Burnett's playing with a huge heart tonight. Every time the ball gets missed or rebound opportunity, she's able to dish the ball out to one of the players and give them another opportunity to get points on the board. She did that there, and she's able to get the point and the one-point shot here from the free-throw line to make it a three-point opportunity. And we took a timeout there. So let's take one as well. The lead is eight here in the first half, 19 to 11 for Young Harris. We'll be back, 30-second break on WCNG's coverage of Mountain Lions women's basketball here at good old YHC in Young Harris, Georgia. Jenny Vernett steps to the line, our senior, 6'3", senior out of West Palm Beach, and that one hit the side of the rim, no good. Rebounded here by 32, Cleveland. Gives it to number three, Larice Walker. She was starting at first. They took her out for the remainder of the first quarter, and she just comes back in. Cleveland for three, puts it up off the rim, rebounded by Meredith Tarver. Rolls out front to Jorgensen. She'll bring it down the court. Sarah Jorgensen, top of the key. 22 on the shot clock. Young Harris with an eight-point advantage. Over to Tarver on the left wing, deep corner. It's going to be Jorgensen. Back this way, McQuaid in the left corner. They'll look across the way for Brianna Bell. Now back, McQuaid's all alone, but now they cover her up. Deep corner, Tarver's going to drive it. Jorgensen, top of the key. Hit the front of the rim, wouldn't go. We try to get it. Knocked around, and who are they going to blame it on? It went out of bounds over there at the scoring bench. I guess it was on us, so they'll get it over there and come back left to right. Sydney Cleveland with the inbound in front of her coach, 
Right here with 6.48 to go in the second quarter. We lead 19 to 11, eight point lead for the Mountain Lions. Here comes Walker, driving in, dishing out to Ryan. Ryan lob pass down low. Tarver tries to draw the foul and they put up a two point play. Number 21, Aliyah McGriff puts it up for two. Ryan cuts it down to six. Here's Young Harris as Jorgensen top of the key. Over it goes to Bell, right wing. Back down here, left side, McQuaid. Jorgensen takes the uh, run around to the deep corner. Tarver's over there, back out front. Now down to the low post. Double team trying to go up. She's fouled. Of course, that's our Jenny Burnett underneath. She'll get two shots. They hammered her on the way up. Burnett, a 6'3 senior, center from West Palm Beach. She'll get two on the shooting foul. First one is up. Count it. Nothing but net for Jenny Burnett. That rhymes every time. Sure does. You can make a motto out of that a little. All right. Let's see if she can do it again. It's on the way. Front of the rim fell off. No good. Rebounded by McGriff. Dishing up to Wright. Wright trying to get across midcourt. She does. Right back to McGriff who's going to drive it in and dishes it off to 30 who puts it in for two. Good, good play there for them. One of the best I've seen they've had in the lane all night tonight. Here's Jorgensen across midcourt now, taking it over to McQuaid on the right wing. Back out here to Sarah. Sarah takes it around, gives it back to McQuaid, looking for Bell. Bell gave her a little rescue. They'll drive it down, take it all the way to the low post, shot it across the rim, too strong, no good. Rebounded by Elia McGriff, who gives it to Ryan, wearing number 43, back to McGriff. Driving in, throws the ball up, tries to draw the foul, and they're going to call it, I believe. No, cancel that. And give it back to the Bobcats Tarver. Miscommunication here. Both teams thought they were going to have somebody go to the line, and one official was not ready for that. So McGriff will shoot two. That was on Tarver down there, and she is uh, going to pull her out now. Back in is Sarah Reed for Burnett. All right, so they changed their decision. It's just going to be an inbound pass from the baseline. Larice Walker, inbound pass to Ryan. Brianna Bell guarding her. Over to McGriff. McGriff puts up a shot over Jorgensen. Even though she's a lot taller, she couldn't get it that one to fall, and the Mountain Lions are going to have the ball here. Tarver, right baseline throw in. Now they bring Jorgensen in to do the honors, threw it into Tarver. Looking, they'll give it to Bell. Bell works down toward the midcourt line. A double teamer, bring it to Tarver, right wing. Back over this way, a high pass to Megan. Then it goes back around, looked again to Megan on the left wing. 14 on the shot clock. They're doing good uh, single person coverage on us right now. Tarver for three. Hit the front of the rim. Jorgensen got it back on the other side. McQuaid. Here's Tarver again, way out front to Bell. Bell drives it down the lane, kicks it back to Jorgensen. This way, McQuaid from 22 feet. Oh, almost hit the side of the rim. Tarver saved it, threw it back in, but the blue shirts get it instead of the white shirts. Rebounded by Davis. Here comes Wright. Wright, quick pass to McGriff. McGriff puts it in for two off the backboard. She's having a good game coming off the bench for they're the get, Bobcats. They're really getting something going here. It's cut the lead to three with 4.29 left first half. Young Harris takes it around to Bell. Bell for Tarver, top of the key, lost on the floor, and they say it's a kick. Lucky there, because that yeah. could have been a breakaway, easy two points. So we may get an opportunity to try it again, but they're going to bring for us to throw it in, Brianna Bell. Bell looking for Jorgensen up here near the midcourt line. Sarah brings it over to Tarver, top of the key, takes it around the circle to Bell again, 22-footer. Oh, air ball, we needed it, we didn't get it. Larice Walker watches the ball goes out of bounds and inbounding it, Anna Anderson to Walker, number three, the point guard. Walker across the midcourt, logo, working on Jorgensen. Over to 15, Anna Anderson, top of the arc, finding a passing lane, puts it down low, broken up by Meredith Tarver. Boy, she did it there. Here's off to Jorgensen, feed to McQuaid right side. Sarah now top of the key, this way to Tarver from 22 feet. Uh, she's been cold on them three-pointers. Uh, she's made one or two tonight, but she's missed about three or four. Rebounded by Elia McGriff. 
And number three, Larise Walker has it. Follows the screen, great screen set up there. Cleveland for three, number 32, missing that one. Rebounded by McGriff. Driving in on Tarver, Reed boxes her out. And Ryan, top of the arc, right back to McGriff. McGriff, quick pass over Jorgensen to Larise Walker. Down to 19 left on the shot clock. They set up another screen from the charity strike, missing. Tarver gets the rebound on that one, tips it out to Megan McQuaid. She gives it to Jorgensen, then, who comes across midcourt here. Three-point advantage now for the Mountain Line women. 3.03 left first half as we're waiting on Sarah, nobody's challenging her. They set up in a 2-3 defense against us. Two players on the perimeter, three down close to Tarver. Fade away shot, put it up across the rim, bounced around and fell in for Meredith Tarver. That's a good one to get her going again. Here comes the Reese Walker. 2.40 left. We have a five-point lead, 22-17. to Over to the left side, Cleveland. Being guarded by Megan McQuaid. Right back to Walker. Walker driving in, into the paint. Sarah Reed's gonna get caught over that one. And I think that's gonna send Larice Walker to the line to shoot two. Foul number 40, Reed. Yeah, Reed, her first, her first personal tonight. And the Bobcats are five of six, 83% from the free throw line tonight. So doing a great job taking advantage of their opportunities that are given to them. Here comes her first of two. Puts it up and in. Brings it to a four point ball game. Here comes Larissa's second shot. A couple changes here for the Mountain Lions. Back in the lane, Jenny Burnett, the forward on the right side. Here comes Walker's second free throw. Puts it up and in. So brings it to a three-point ball game, 22 to 19. Mountain Lions lead. What are, what's Young Harris shooting from the free throw line? From the free throw line, we are just three of seven for 42 percent. Yeah, they've doubled us up there. Here come the Mountain Lions across midcourt. Jorgensen. Waiting, got a block out front. Now she'll take it to the right side. Over it goes Bell, back out here Sarah. Sarah looking, Megan McQuaid takes it in the paint, laid it up on a runner, hit the front of the rim, wouldn't go, a scramble for it. And it's going to be Young Harris basketball underneath, I believe. Is that a penalty? Yeah, the ball went out of bounds on Cleveland. At least that's what the officials say, but Bobcats head coaches disagree and the refs are gonna have a little talk about this one. It remains as was. So it'll be Jorgensen, left baseline throw in underneath our basket, looking. Got it in the right corner, back underneath. Turn around, nope, get it out top to Tarver. Tarver down the low post again. Backs it up, shot it off the glass and good. Boy, you can count on her in a clutch many times. Yeah, she's having a great game. Probably the best that I've seen this whole season, Jenny Vernette. Here comes Veronica Ryan wearing number 43. They're gonna set up a quick screen for her. Driving in, dishing off to number 12. Right, she puts up a shot missing, but they're gonna call a foul here on Meredith Tarver. Yeah, coach will argue that one over there with the official who uh, steps over there to discuss it, but it's gonna be the visitors going to the free throw line to shoot two. I mean, you're going into ha halftime here. You only lead by five. You don't wanna give them opportunities to get two free points, you know, every other possession, so. Well, they made the first one there, so they're four away. Yeah, and uh, make that seven of eight from the free throw line. Here comes her second. That's right, number 12. Puts it up and gets it to fall, brings it to within a three-point game. Off to Jorgensen, right side on the throw-in, back here from the baseline by our number 15. Back around it comes this way, McQuaid, top of the key. Jorgensen looks for the opening down there and gonna call it a jump ball and the clock gives it back to us fortunately underneath our own basket. Jorgensen drops there on the right baseline throw in to throw it back to one of her teammates. Getting in the corner finally Bell. Bell drives the baseline and it's gonna be fouled with a little elbow. And that's gonna give us a chance to shoot the one and one. And we need it here with only a three point advantage. Well, it'll be a baseline throw in. So Jorgensen is there, right baseline throw in as they're gonna bring a new player into the ball game over here. It'll be 34, Dale Attaway from Tifton, Georgia. Exiting for them will be Taisha Wright. And here's going to be our throw in. 
Got it in the corner this way to Bell. Bell drives it out front to uh, Deisha Brown. Back around top of the key, fed it to the low post. Outside, Megan McQuaid for three. Hit the side of the rim. Megan will get her own rebound, take it way back out toward midcourt. New shot clock here as the Mountain Lions lead by three, 106 left first half. They're going to run the clock down a while. Brianna Bell, 17 on the shot clock. Goes back to Jorgensen. Jorgensen skirts all the way around the circle. Comes back this way to uh, Deisha Brown. And uh, here's Megan for three from the left corner. Need it. Oh, rolled across. We knock it around. They get it. And it's their ball and an opportunity for actually a three could tie it here. All right. Here comes Christina Thomas with the ball. Bounce pass broken up by Megan McQuaid there. Gives them a little breather. The Mountain Lions need to have a big defensive stop or at least not allow a three-point shot to fall in right here. Inbound pass from the right baseline for Thomas. Mountain Lions playing a 2-3 defense. Quick pass into Anna. Anna trying to shake off the double coverage, putting up a shot as Christina, she misses. Rebounded right back. To Anna Anderson, who dishes it out to Veronica Ryan, top of the arc. Brand new shot clock for him. There's 22 seconds left on both clocks right now. Just kind of waiting the ball, dribbling it out. Down to 14 left on the game clock. Jorgensen will challenge her out on the point defensively. Veronica Ryan doesn't have a passing lane. Throws it down low. Broken up by Jenny Burnett. Yeah, we'll get it with only 3.4 seconds left in the first half as the Mountain Lions are still leading by three, and Coach wants a timeout here. Trying to get more points on the board, I believe. So Yeah, with 3.4 seconds. We'll stay with it on this one. Of course, this is Young Harris College basketball in the Peach Belt Conference. You see the big Peach Belt down there on the emblem on the floor, and a lot of great teams in this Division II women's and men's division. And if you're out driving around, you want to see a great game, Come on over here tonight. The men are going to play, and that's always a good one when the Young Harris men take the floor. They're doing super supreme this year in the Peach Bell. Oh, yeah, they're doing a great job. They just came off a uh, three-game road trip, and they're coming back to the Mountain Lions home, and we're going to see if we can get a victory over Georgia College. They also have a great men's team as well, so it's going to be a very competitive game. That's coming up following this one tonight on YHC Basketball and WCNG. Here's the throw into Jorgensen, fed it down the right sideline. Bell with the buzzer, hit the side of the rim, but no good as we tried to get it, and it did not work. But we retained the lead, but we had a pretty good one there, Chris, but it got away from us. Yeah, it did, and we saw, you know, Georgia College, they're, they're, they're a little bit better in the Peach Belt Conference than we are, and when you're competing with a team that's, you know, more competitive than you as of late. You know, it's always great to go into the half leading by three. And honestly, the scoreboard might not show it, 24 to 21, but that was one of the better first halves of the uh, women's games I've seen all season. Yeah, yeah, they held their own there, even though they gave up a seven, eight point advantage and uh, still lead it by three. And they'll go back with uh, Coach Steersman and uh, the other team with their coach, and they'll try to sort it out. Don't forget, we've got uh, the men's game coming up following this one on WCNG's coverage of Mountain Lions College Basketball. And we're helping John Moon out tonight with the audio as uh, he is uh, filming the game for playback later on his TV channel, which is Channel 99 on Windstream Cable TV. Let's uh, take a time out ourselves. We'll be back to give you the official stats of the first half and a whole lot more about basketball. With uh, Chris Mathis, I'm Dennis Jean on WCNG's coverage of Young Harris College, Mountain Lions, women's and men's basketball on 102.7 and over at uh, Chris's house on 101.3. Blairsville, Georgia, that sure is it. It's a great place. I like it. You know, it's a great place to grow up for sure. Good school systems, small town feel, and, uh, you know, they're growing as well. So it's Yeah, cool. friendly, friendly place there. Love all the sports people there uh, just having a good time. All right, we'll take a break. Be right back. Stay with us. We got purple rain up here tonight. If you got a chance to get in the car and come on over, you got plenty of time to get here at least to see the men's game, and purple rain will entertain you as well. We'll be right back. Over to Ryan, back to Walker. Walker stepping away from Tarver over to Ryan. 
Ryan dishes it right back to Walker. Steps in, steps out. Ryan almost loses the basketball, driving, stepping back out across to the right side, being guarded closely. Over to Walker, wide open, three, missing, so 0 for 6 for the Bobcats. Tarver gets it underneath and gives it off to Jorgensen of the Mountain Lions, move left to right toward the basket on the other end. Sarah from Stockholm, Sweden, brings it around the top of the key on the runner. Tarver had it for a moment, had it stolen away. They knock it out of bounds, but it's still our basketball. Mountain Lions got a lucky break there. Official gives it in possession of the Mountain Lions. So Jorgensen will jump out down oh, here. They're they gonna, switch it up. Yeah, they gave it back They've to the They've done that opponents. two or three times a night. They just have a quick meet and change their call. All right. Inbound here to Larice Walker. Jorgensen back on defense out front here. Walker stepping in and out, trying to evade and puts up a shot off the corner of the glass, missing over to the right side. That's Cleveland putting up a three, gets it and misses it, but earns her own rebound. And Jenny Vernett deflects the pass, but it ends up going right back to a Bobcat player. Driving in on Jorgensen. There's number 12 right off the rim and in for two. Yeah, they got a new shot clock on that, gave them 30 more seconds, and they shot it with 12 to go. Here's Sarah Jorgensen down the right sideline, moving left to right to Tarver. Tarver top of the key, taking it all the way down to the low post, dished it off Vernett over the top. A whistle, and it's going to be Young Harris's ball, I believe, on the baseline throw-in. Jorgensen will drop in for the right baseline throw-in here. 8.35 left in the third. They're within one. They haven't led yet. Back this way comes the long pass out here to uh, our number 35. They'll feed it to the right corner. Jorgensen for three. We need it. Didn't get it. Sarah got the ball back from the right corner, came out here to the top of the key and rescued her own shot. She is quick. Around it comes to Bell. Bell looks, brings it top of the key. Tarver's got it. 19-foot shot, hit the side of the rim, and they will rebound it. Yeah, rebounded by Cleveland, who gives it off to Walker, driving in on Jorgensen, stepping back out. Over to Veronica Ryan, finds Cleveland wide open three, and they get the first one to fall. Hopefully that's not a string of them, because they're one of seven now from the three-point shot. Here comes the Mountain Lions. They trail it here. First time tonight, 26-24. Jorgensen out top of the key. Takes it over to Tarver. There's a whistle. And we're going to have a foul on a push on their uh, number 15, Anna Anderson. And it's going to put us on the left baseline throw-in underneath their own basket. Sarah's there to bring it in. Anderson guilty of the foul. Her first personal. Sarah looks, got a hurry. High one went to Tarver out in front of our bench. A runner up front wouldn't go, hit the front of the rim. Yeah, good effort there by Meredith, but here comes Larice Walker. Stepping away from Brianna Bell, bounce pass to Cleveland. Puts it up, rebounded by Jenny Vernett, who loses it. And Anna ends up with it, dishing it to the left side. Number 12 right over to Cleveland, hits it. Her first three of the ball game just a minute ago, and she misses that one. Going the other way, there's going to be a penalty on a push over the top by their number 21, Aleya McGriff. So on the back baseline, we'll have Meredith Tarver ready to throw it in to uh, Sarah Jorgensen here with uh, the lead belonging to our visitors. 26-24, 7-24 left third quarter. Back comes Sarah. They set up basically the 2-3 defense. Waiting, got to find somebody down the lane. Burnett muscling her way up. And now there's going to be a penalty on us. We made the basket, it would not count. Yeah, they called traveling on Jenny Burnett. So that makes the difference. Anna Anderson with the inbound pass to the newly checked in player, Christina Thomas. Backup point guard for the Reese Walker. Thomas over to Cleveland. Walker has the ball, dishes it right back to Cleveland for three. Missing, rebounded by McGriff. Over to Anna Anderson, puts it up, missing. It ends up to Jorgensen, and she'll take it down the other way. Back this way, Tarver. Now give it off to, oh, they're going to take it away on yeah, the McGriff point. Yeah, McGriff breaks it. Larice Walker with the breakaway, laying it up and in. So McGriff. Wow comes off the bench and gets the steal right away. Yeah, and we got a timeout on the floor for the Mountain Lions here. Let's take one as well. 
They're up by four now. They got us by two. Their first lead, they've increased it to four, 28-24. Back here in a bit on WCNG-FM's coverage of Mountain Lions basketball. Mountain Lions are going to have to, you know, score right away here, and hopefully Steersman told them, you know, keep your heads up high. you got to come back and win this. This is a big game. So It is. Big conference game here. Tarver throws it in to Jorgensen. Down the right sideline she comes, moving left to right as you're listening. Over to McQuaid. Back out front to Tarver. Tarver takes it all the way to the low post, kicks it in front. Can we get it? Put it up. They get a hand on it. We fight for it. It's still loose, but they've got the ball. Yeah, Christina Thomas ends up with it. Down to McGriff, and she gets it to fall. Boy, that was an impossible layup shot. It bounced around up there. We had double coverage on her, and she still got the points. The lead is six. Here's Jorgensen waiting for McQuaid. 21 on the shot clock. Around the circle, here comes Tarver. Tarver lost it on the floor. And We're Sarah Reed's fighting for it. for it. Yeah. It rolled out of bounds. Let's see. Young Harris got it back on the break. I was fortunate for the Mountain Lions. You don't want to give up some more points here as you're trailing by six. Jorgensen in front of our bench to throw it in. Tarver takes a break on the bench. It'll be Jorgensen here trying to follow down. Back top of the key, Jada Williams. Bounce pass outside. Right corner now comes back out front to Jada. She'll wait. On the run, Young Harris got 10 seconds on the shot clock, threw it away. McGriff ends up with it. She's driving, fast break opportunity, lays it up for two. She leads the Bobcats and points right now. Bobcats are getting their second win here in this third quarter as it'll be Young Harris, Jorgensen all the way down, put it up, and they hit her on the arm going up. So she'll get a couple. Anna Anderson caught with that shooting foul. From the free throw line. Second foul on her, as we'll have for us Jorgensen to the line. She was uh, 0 for 0 in the first half. First one is in the air and good. We needed that. Cut it to uh, seven. As from the bench, here comes Jenny Vernett in, our big center. Second shot. Hit the back of the rim, wouldn't go for Young Harris. Rebounded by Cleveland, here comes Thomas. Thomas stepping out of the press coverage, gives it over to Cleveland on the right side. Back to Thomas. Over to the left side, Walker. Walker down low to Slaughter. Slaughter looking for a passing opportunity, finds Cleveland. Pass is stolen by Jorgensen, and here come the mountain lines. Jorgensen all the way down with the layup too strong off the glass and will reach over the top and cause a foul, I do believe, for Young Harris. It'll be 15, guilty, Deisha Brown. So we'll get a timeout on the floor. It's a two-minute timeout here. We'll be back in a minute. Stay with us. Georgia College, 32. Young Harris women, 25, here in the third quarter at Young Harris. Stay with us. Yeah, let's just do a minute. Bobcats goes to Christina Thomas. Yeah, seven points. That's the most they've led us tonight, and they've done it all in this second half. McGriff dishing over to Slaughter, top of the arc, right back to Cleveland. Cleveland down low, pass to McGriff. Trying to put it up and in, McGriff having a great game for the Bobcats. Yeah, she's uh, having a great game, as you mentioned. Here comes Jorgensen down the right sideline. Give it off to Megan McQuaid around the circle. Back to Jada Williams. Williams lost it for a moment, and there's going to be a foul called on them. And number 32. Her second foul on... Uh, Sydney Cleveland. Young Harris will bring it from the left baseline. Throw in. Bell, 
Back into Bell, little jumper, hit the rim, wouldn't go. And they'll come down with a big rebound. Rebounded by McGriff, dishing it off to Larice Walker. Left side, Walker getting over to the middle court. Over to Thomas, being guarded by uh, Brianna Bell, dishing to Larice Walker, back to Thomas. 14 left on the shot clock, they lead by nine. Thomas dishes it over to Cleveland. She's kind of like their uh, three-point shooter. Cleveland down low to McGriff, spinning around, and they're going to say yeah. traveling. Traveling on, on her, and she used a little bit of elbow to move the young Harris player out of the way, too. I'm surprised they didn't call that. But the bounce pass comes in, left to right. Here comes Jorgensen at midcourt, working to the right side with the pass down there to Bell. On the runner, Tarver put it up and in, and she'll get a foul. Fortunately, she's okay. She was knocked into the apparatus holding the goal underneath there. Luckily, that's padded area, because if not, that's hitting full steel. All right, it'll be Meredith Tarver to the line. We need the points. First one is good. So that turned into a three-point play. Brought it back to within six for the Mountain Lions, trailing. Inbound pass goes to Walker over to Cleveland. Mountain Lions playing a full-court press. Cleveland at the three-point line, driving in, being double-teamed right now. Quick pass over to the left baseline, outside to Walker. Walker throws it right back to Thomas. Thomas puts up a shot and gets it to fall for two. About a 16-footer from that right corner. Puts him back up by eight. Here come the Mountain Lions, 321 left, third quarter. It'll be coming over to Bell on the right wing. She'll look, drive it down a bit, got it back out front to uh, 42, and they'll have some trouble there, and we'll get to go to the foul line. Jenny Vernett had it for a moment, but it's going to be for young Harris, Brianna Bell to the line. We need to execute these two free shots right here too. Lead is eight, she gets the first one. Lead is seven. Brianna tries it again. Up and good. Swish on that one. So that helps a bit. Down to six. And a whistle to let a new player in the game for them. We see uh, Veronica Grace. And checking out is 32 Cleveland. Here comes the inbound pass from the right baseline to Thomas. Thomas right over to Grace. Grace right back across the court to Thomas. Being guarded by Jorgensen, flings it across to Grace for three. Missing, rebounded by Jenny Burnett. Uh, and it finally comes out in the hands of Jorgensen as she clears from left to right. Gives it back this way to Bell. Bell takes it around the circle, gives it to Tarver. Tarver waiting. Here's Jorgensen all the way in. Three-point try, Young Harris. Air ball. Scramble for it, and the blue shirts get it back. Yeah, here comes Larice Walker, point guard, dishing over to Veronica Grace, wide open three, missing, rebounded by Vernette. She flings it up, got McGriff, ends up with the ball. Yeah, the turnover there, but a great opportunity, a great leap to try Defense to save was it. Little loss there, but Mountain Lions need a good stop here, get the rebound. Over to Thomas, 15 left on the shot clock to McGriff, back to Thomas. Thomas stepping out, quick fling pass down low to McGriff, and called a charge. Mountain Lions wind up with the basketball. On their 21, number 21. Okay, here comes Young Harris College, trailing by six, third quarter. 36, 32, 12 left. Throw in comes to Jorgensen. She'll bring it down top of the key. They're in a 2-3 defense. Off to Williams, back in the corner underneath. Put it up, reached over the top. We're gonna get that one back. Jorgensen trying to shoot it on a layup from the side. And their uh, defensive player reached over, knocked it out. So here comes Sarah to the left baseline throw in to try to get it again. They've got a new player in the game as well as they bring out Anna Anderson. So the Mountain Lions down by six, two minutes left in this third period. Got it in here to Williams. She'll feed it to the low post right side, got a push. Going on number 15, the new player for them from the bench. And that's going to step Young Harris to the line for Jenny Burnett. 
She'll get two shots here. Can cut the lead to four. I like the first one. Swish for Jenny Burnett. Do one more, Jenny. This is a very important Peach Belt Conference game. Up and good. The Reese Walker with the inbound. They lead 36-32. Mountain Lions playing a full court zone. Bounce pass to Veronica Grace over to Walk, excuse me, to Thomas. Thomas left side, bounce pass to Anna Anderson, puts it up. Rebounded by Meredith Tarver. Thing bounced around, went down, came out. Here comes Jorgensen over the key, top of the circle, looking. Got it over here to Bell, nearly picked off. Megan McQuaid ended up with it, feed it to the left side, feed it to the low post, stop underneath, the collision on the floor, scramble for it, and they come up with it. Yeah, Thomas ends up with it, dribbling her way out of the coverage. Thomas over to Veronica Grace. Ball goes out of bounds. So Mountain Lions will have the inbound here. Meredith Tarver. We uh, trail by four with a minute 15 to go. Inbound to Jorgensen. Jorgensen with the ball across midcourt. Dishing over to Brianna Bell. Brianna Bell, quick pass to Tarver. Tarver puts it up, missed, and I believe the ball goes out of bounds on one of the Mountain Lions. So it's going to be Bobcats basketball here. Inbound from Larise Walker. Okay. technical problem there that went off the air, but we're back. Here come the Mountain Lions. They've cut it to one at the buzzer, shooting for three from the left wing. No good, but boy, uh, we got it going there. Sorry we're off the air just a moment, a technical problem here, but uh, that's three quarters here, and Young Harris uh, only down by one, and what was it? They were down eight, ten? Yeah, they were down eight points at one point, and the Mountain Lions just had a lucky break there the last two minutes able to defend very well, and we ended up scoring a couple points. Meredith Tarver hit a three with the shot clock about to buzz off. There's about three seconds left, and Meredith Tarver hit a three-point shot to bring this game within one. So Mountain Lions need to come out here in this final quarter and take this ball game away from the Bobcats, and it's, it's doable, and we can see it happen. We saw it in the first two quarters, so we'll see how it goes in the last one. Meredith Tarver leads the Mountain Lions with 17 points, and Aliyah McGriff leads the Bobcats with 15 points. Tarver has two fouls, McGriff has three. A lot of little time left here with uh, only 10 minutes in this one for the action at Young Harris tonight. Men's game will follow this one. That ought to be a pretty good one as well. All of these are, of course, conference games now for the rest of the year. Uh, as you hear them on WCNG in the Peach Belt Conference. Yeah, we trail by one. It's going to be uh, Georgia, Co excuse me, Young Harris basketball. Tarver's going to inbound this one. Jorgens Mountain with the ball. Lines, go ahead there. I'm working on something else. Megan McQuay with the ball, dishing it down low to Brianna Bell. Brianna Bell. Into the paint, ball is stolen and ends up in the hands of one of the Bobcats. Larice Walker coming to the left side, driving quick pass. Tarver with the defense and McGrath lays it in for two. So 
three point lead here. Mountain Lions need to take it slow. And here comes Jorgensen dishing off to Megan McQuaid. McQuaid stepping back over to Jorgensen. Pump fakes once, being guarded by McGriff. Jorgensen left side, Brianna Bell. Brianna driving in, almost loses the ball, but some way, somehow ends up with it. McQuaid for three, missing, rebounded by Jenny Vernett. She's having a great game defensively. Well, they get the a paint. new shot clock right here, too, for the Mountain Lions as Jorgensen brings it around the circle, gives it to Tarver again. She'll work back this way. New shot clock, as you mentioned. McQuaid in the corner now back out here top of the key for Young Harris. Tarver double teamed on the point, bounced it too high and would lose it. Yeah, Larice Walker ends up with it, stepping back, takes a jumper, missing, rebounded by McGriff, and she lays it up for two. So, you know, a quick scoring run right there for the Bobcats. Well, that puts it five the lead again for the visitors from Georgia College as we've got Young Harris deep pass in the left corner. Back out here to Jorgensen, over to Megan McQuaid. She'll go around that circle back toward the home bench. Low, yes. Good pass to the low post. Jenny Vernett has got us, win three, us within three again. Here comes Larice Walker. Crowd is a little quiet right now as we trail by three, 40 to 37. They set up a screen. Jorgensen evades the screen, missing, rebounded by Anna Anderson, and she misses her shot as well. We're, we're off right now. We're off. Okay. We're off air. do it for Ridgeline TV. Vernette puts up her first of two. Gets it to fall, so brings it to within a three-point ball game, 41 to 38. Vernette's having a fantastic game for the Mountain Lions, probably one of the best that we've seen. Here comes Larice Walker, stepping out over to McGriff and lays it up for two. Four point lead here, and the Mountain Lions have it. Jorgensen across midcourt. Dishing over to the left side, Tarver. Tarver bounce pass stolen by Larice Walker. Bad pass decision there, no lane. Over to McGriff, lays it up for two. Gets it to fall, up by six. Tough second, tough start here to the fourth quarter for the Mountain Lions, and it's showing on the scoreboard. We trail by six. Brianna Bell with the ball, dishing to Tarver, top of the arc. Tarver stepping out, over to McQuaid, wide open three, missing, rebounded by Cleveland. Cleveland holds onto the ball, over to Walker. Stepping down low into the paint, dishing to McGriff, who's having a great game, and missing the shot, but they're gonna call a foul here. McGriff has 23 points tonight. She's going to the line to take two. Coming off the bench, you know, that's an unreal ball game for any player, 23 points off the bench. Puts up her first, gets it to fall. 46 to 39, we trail. Jenny Vernett checks out and in comes Sarah Reed. So McGriff here with her second shot, puts it up, gets it to fall, so Eight point lead, 47 to 39, and here comes Jorgensen across midcourt. Jorgensen driving, stepping back over to Megan McQuaid, had a wide open lane, didn't take it. Tarver for three, gets it to a fall. Meredith Tarver 
And she's done a great job all season long to get this team right back into any ball game. 47 to 42, we trail, and here comes Larice Walker driving in, dishing off to McGriff. McGriff driving up off the top of the backboard, gets it to fall. I don't think they're gonna count it. But they are gonna send her to the line to shoot a couple of shots. They did count that basket off the top of the backboard. 49 to 42, we trail, and McGriff is not the person you wanna to send to the line. Puts it up and make that a 50 to 42 lead here for the Bobcats. Jorgensen across midcourt. She's had a great game. Driving to the right side, dishing to McQuaid. McQuaid sets up for Brianna Bell. Brianna Bell right back to Jorgensen. Driving in quickly over to Tarver for three. Meredith Tarver airballs it, but almost ending up with it are the mountain lines. But McGriff ends up with this one. Bad pass there, and Veronica Grace ends up with that pass able to recover the ball. Here comes Larice Walker driving, stepping back over to McGriff who has 28 points like I said. Reed playing defense and we missed the rebound. Tarver fighting for it. Sarah Reed keeps it in and bad pass but we see a great play by Jorgensen and the mountain lines are gonna re retain possession. That's what you wanna see when you're trailing here. You, you wanna see effort and heart being played out on the court. Tarver. Driving in, she's trying to slow up the pace a little bit to let a wide open shot fall. Timeout taken by Matt Steersman, the head coach of the Mountain Lions. 5.28 to go, we trail by eight. Timeout is called by Young Harris. You see 39 rebounds for Georgia College. 28 of those are defensive rebounds. One lead change for both teams. Uh, you know, we see a lot of great players on the court right now, and we've got to come back in this one. Big Peach Belt Conference basketball game between Georgia College and the Mountain Lions of Young Harris. We have just three points off the bench. You look at 34 points off the bench for Georgia College, which is Unreal, considering there's still five minutes left in this ball game. 28 of those bench points go to McGriff, and you know I think she earned a shot to maybe start next week. So we'll see if we can come back here. Timeout is done. Matt Steersman had a great, you know, conversation with his players there, He's trying to keep them in this ball game. Need to execute on shots and take better opportunities. So the ball will be Mountain Lions possession. Quick inbound here in front of their own bench. Jorgensen inbounding over to Jada Williams. Jada Williams stepping in, looking for the passing lane, finds Jorgensen almost too high of a pass. Tarver for three, missing, rebounded by Wright, and she dishes off to Larice Walker. Walker, top of the arc. Dribble pass in between the legs, and they're going to set up a screen on Jorgensen. Jorgensen does not fall for it. Tarver almost steals that one. But Walker has that. And the Reese Walker stepping out, letting the shot clock run down. Walker driving in, lays it off the backboard. Make that a 10-point lead here. Mountain Lions cannot let this one get away from him. Jorgensen, quick delivery pass, handoff to... McQuaid, McQuaid, and they're going to call a pushing foul there on Georgia College. So Mountain Lions, Jenny Vernett draws the foul, and we're going to get a shot to inbound it here down low in the paint. Slaughter called with the foul. That's her second. Jorgensen, quick pass inbounds to Megan McQuaid. McQuaid stepping out to Tarver. Tarver, lob pass to Vernett. Vernett takes a jumper, missing, rebounded by Vernett. And another pushing foul there, so Jenny Vernett with a great effort play and it pays off. You know, you hang on to the ball, you draw the foul, and it's gonna just remain a, a quick throw in here for the Mountain Lions. Timeout taken by Mount, excuse me, by the Bobcats. 30 second timeout here. 52 to 42 we trail, we're still in this one though. 
20 points for Meredith Tarver, 11 for Jenny Burnett, who's played a huge role with the loss of Bria Radliff uh, to that knee injury she had last week at home. But seeing the young Harris Mountain Lions cheerleaders, men and women there, doing some stunts in front of the basketball goal, awesome job. And I believe earlier, if I heard correctly, the Mountain Lions band Purple Rain got voted number one in the Peach Belt Conference for the fifth year in a row, which is unreal. Great job there by their band coach, their band director. Jorgensen with the inbound pass here from the left baseline. Official gets ready, gives the ball to Jorgensen. Quick pass to McQuaid. McQuaid stepping back from the right side. Over to Jada Williams. Williams driving in. Williams takes a jump shot, gets it to fall for two. 52 to 44. And the inbound to Larice Walker. Jorgensen's got to play some good defense here on Larice, who's having a great game offensively for the Bobcats. She's probably got 10 assists if I have to take a guess on that. Walker stepping out. They set up a screen on Jorgensen. McGriff driving. Quick pass to right, right, right back to McGriff. McGriff missing. Rebounded by Jenny Burnett. 3.54 to go. We trail by eight. Jorgensen over to Jada Williams. Jada Williams stepping up to the left side of the arc. Over to Tarver. Tarver, they set up a screen. Tarver wide open. Jump shot. She gets it to fall. 52 to 46. We're on a scoring run here. Six points in a row to their zero. We're down by six. Great defensive stop here. And this one's going to come down to the wire. Three and a half minutes to go. Georgia College looks a little lost defensively. And they're going to blow the whistle there. Foul called on McGriff. So Mountain Lions are going to have the ball here down by six. Meredith Tarver leading the Mountain Lions with 22 points tonight. We'll inbound this to Jorgensen. She only has one point in this game, so you'd love to see her get involved offensively. She can make a few threes. Tarver driving, they set up a screen for Tarver. Tarver back to Burnett, over to Jorgensen. Jor Jorgensen driving on Cleveland, pass is broken up by Larice Walker. You gotta play defense here, Mountain Lions. Walker driving, Jada Williams was there, blocked it. Rebounded by Jorgensen, and the Mountain Lions with a great defensive stop, Jada Williams. 2.56 to go, Tarver over to Williams, wide open, Williams pump fakes one, steps back, puts up a shot, gets it to fall off the rim. Four point ball game here, 52 to 48, and the Mountain Lions have as well of a shot as anybody right now. Lauren Walker, cross mid, cross mid court now, just dribbling the clock out. 19 left on the shot clock, 2.30 left in the game. Four point game, Jorgensen steps up. They call a screen on Jorgensen. Jorgensen falls for it. And Wright has the ball. Wright looking for a passing lane. No one's open, but McGriff finds a way. Cleveland for three, please miss this one. She misses off the shot clock. Shot clock violation, because it did not touch the rim. And the Mountain Lions have a shot here. You hear the crowd chanting air ball. Two minutes, 12 seconds, and Jorgensen has got to get something going here as the point guard. You make the play, well the official, the coach makes the play, you run the play, you set it up. So Jorgensen gets the play call, driving Tarver, Tarver stepping back, her shot missing. Burnett almost ends up with it, but rebounded by Veronica Grace, a minute 50 to go. Over to Cleveland, wide open. Cleveland decides to pass that one. Timeout taken by Georgia College. You know, Mountain Lines, that goes in favor of us as well. We're a little exhausted out there. Minute 46 to go, 52 to 48. We trail and it's a full timeout here. Mountain Lion cheerleaders are gonna come out and do some celebratory cheers right now at mid court. Crowd gives them a big round of applause. We trail by four here. Media timeout taken and the Purple Rain Band doing another great job tonight. When they show up for the game, it's, it involves the crowd a lot more than when they're not here. So we're going to see how the Mountain Lions will react to this uh, crowd and hopefully get the victory. We trail four points, 52 to 48. Like I said, you're looking at a team 
Georgia College is one game better than us in Peach Belt Conference. So if you win this, we're moving up in the Peach Belt Conference in rankings, which is huge. And you're looking at Georgia College, who is 10 and 5 overall. We're just 7 of 7 and 8. So you know, you win this one, it looks good on the record, and you also in the Peach Belt Conference. Minute 46, it'll remain in possession of the Bobcats. They're wearing all blue with the white outlining. And the Mountain Lions are wearing the all white with purple outlining. Quick inbound to Veronica Grace. Grace stepping out, down to 17 left on the shot clock. Larice Walker has it. Crowd is being pretty quiet right now. They're hoping we can uh, play great defense. Lauren Walker, Grace wide open on the left side. McGriff puts it up and off the backboard. You can't let her get open. That's 30 points now for McGriff, who's coming off the bench, and she leads both teams in scoring. 30 points. Jorgensen over to, to uh, Megan McQuaid. Jorgensen back to Tarver. Tarver should have taken that, drives it, gets it to fall for two, brings it to within four points. And Georgia College has the ball. Lauren Walker, or excuse me, Larice Walker, with a minute to go here with the, in the final quarter. One minute remains, and there's 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Come on, defense. Mountain Lions need a huge stop. Cleveland wide open, three opportunity. Puts it up, in and out, rebounded by Jenny Burnett, and the Mountain Lions need to score within 20 seconds to get the shot clock advantage. Lord, Jorgensen with the ball, dishing off to Tarver. Tarver driving, you know she's gonna shoot this. Tarver, wide open lane, Tarver gets it to fall. 54 to 52, 32 seconds remain. We have a shot. If Georgia College hangs onto the ball for the whole shot clock, there's only gonna be two and a half seconds left, but that's enough to put up a three to win this game or a two point shot to tie this game and go into potentially overtime. Mountain Lions played good there on that last uh, minute and a half and we saw a wide open McGriff who's really doing a good job for the Bobcats. I can't express that enough. 30 points for her, 26 for Tarver. Jenny Vernette leads both teams in rebounds. And we're scoring every 20 seconds based on the average time of possession whenever we score. Total rebounds tonight for Jenny Vernette, 12, so she's in the double digit range. She's got a double double, Jenny Vernette, 11 points, 12 rebounds. And that's a great stat that's awesome for your team as well. You're getting the team in the ball game, and we trail by two. Matt Steersman. Ends his little timeout chat, and we trail by two, so hopefully the Mountain Lions still have enough energy left in the tank to win this one. Down by two, we led at one point 15 to six, and since then it's been majority in favor of the Bobcats, so inbound here from Walker, that's Larice. Here comes the inbound pass, flings it down the court, and McGriff has it. McGriff stepping away. They're gonna foul her, and that's a good opportunity there because we have not seen Grace go to the line. So Meredith Tarver called with a foul. We trail by two, and they're just gonna inbound pass us. It's not a shooting foul. Officials have uh, been confused a couple of times tonight. They've changed their call two or three times. 28.8 seconds left in this game. Inbound pass, good defense being played by McQuaid. She calls the foul, and they're gonna send Grace to the line, so they obviously think that her odds of making a free throw are slim to none. And we saw Veronica Ryan, she's 0 of 3 tonight. She's not a shooting person, not a shooting player out of this game, so you do wanna send this one to the line. Number 43, puts it up, crowd getting into it. She drains it, three point lead, 55-52. Veronica Grace and the Bobcats have been, you know, almost perfect from the free throw line. Here comes her second. She puts it up, and so four point lead here. You gotta score within 10 seconds. Here come the mountain line. Jorgensen, 26 seconds to go. Jorgensen stepping over to the left side. Tarver driving, Tarver being triple teamed right now. McQuaid, pass goes out of bounds, and 18 seconds. That's pretty close. It's gonna be pretty tough to come back from this four point Deficit with just 18 seconds to go. So Georgia College takes a timeout 
It's going to have to be a full timeout because that's all they had remaining. And the crowd got into it on that one. You needed at least one miss out of those free throws, and Veronica Grace hit both of them. So, you know, that's a little disheartening for the Mountain Lions, but they're still, they still have a shot. You know, anything can happen. 56 to 52. 18.9 seconds to go for the Mountain Lions, and the Bobcats are going to have possession. So the Mountain Lions are going to have to foul right away. And hopefully, you got to find someone else who's not good at shooting free throws, and I don't think there's going to be any of them. Maybe Anna, uh, number 15, she might be, Anna Anderson might be the next person you foul. But Veronica Grace with the ball, quick inbound, they're going to foul her, Megan McQuaid. So Grace, who just made two of two, will go back to the line. You want the crowd to get into this, make some noise. And here comes Grace. Grace puts it up. Swish, so that makes it a five-point game. Here comes her second of two. Veronica Grace. Rebounded by Vernette. 18 seconds to go. Come on, Mountain Lions. Five-point deficit here. Jorgensen with the ball. Jorgensen dishing to McQuaid. McQuaid almost loses the ball. Nine seconds. Jorgensen got to put up a three here, and they're going to call a foul. Jorgensen to the line, and that's a good opportunity there. She is almost perfect from the free throw line this season. She is great when given the opportunity. If you don't make one of these, you got to get the rebound, put it back up. If you make one, if you make both, you're down by three. She puts up her first, gets it to fall. We're down by four, five, and six-tenths of a second to go. Here comes her second shot. Jorgensen from Australia puts it up. Gets it to fall. Inbound here from Larice Walker. They're going to have to play tight press defense. They fling it down the court once again. Veronica Grace with the ball. They got a foul. They got a foul over to McGriff. McGriff, they don't call the foul. Cleveland with it. They, and that's going to do it. Ball game over, 57 to 54. Thank you for tuning in to Ridgeline TV and checking out the Mountain Lions women's game. We lose 57-54 to the Bobcats of Georgia College. It was a good one, but when nothing's falling in your favor, if they hardly are calling it for you, it's gonna be tough to win it, especially when it's a, uh, a breathtaker point for point like this one. So Meredith Tarver ends with 26 points. Jenny Burnett with 11. Six points for Jada Williams. Three points apiece for Jorgensen and McQuaid. And then you see for them, number three, Larice Walker, six points. Anna Anderson, one point. McGriff, who came off the bench, 30 points, wearing number 21. And then Veronica Grace has three points, and they were all from free throws. So the men's game will start in roughly 29 minutes. And here come the men mountain lines getting a little uh, warm up. All right, so after that one we see the Mountain Lions lose 57-54. Thank you for checking out Ridgeline TV, and we'll see you in just a few minutes for the men's game. 